the Lord's power came over me. And while the Lord's spirit was in me, God led me out and put me in the middle of a certain valley. It was full of bones. And then God led me all around and through it, and I saw that there were a great many of them on the valley floor. Then God said to me, human one, can these bones live again? I said, Lord God, only you know. Then God commanded me, prophesy over these bones and say to them, hear the Lord's word. The Lord God proclaims, I am about to put my breath in you and you will live. I will put sinews on you and place flesh on you and cover you with skin. And when I put my breath in you, and you will come to life, and you will know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied just as I was commanded. And there was a great noise as I was prophesying, and a great quaking as the bones came together, bone on bone. And then I looked, and there were sinews on them. And then flesh appeared, and they were covered over with skin. But still, there was no breath in them. Then God said to me, prophesy to the breath. Prophesy, human one, and say, the Lord God proclaims, come from the four winds, breath. Enter these dead bodies and let them live. So I prophesied, just as I was commanded. And when the breath entered them, they came to life and stood on their feet an extraordinarily large company. Then God said to me, Human one, these bones are the entire house of Israel. They say, our bones are dried up and our hope has perished. We are completely finished. But go, prophesy and say to them, the Lord God proclaims, I am opening up your graves and I will raise you up from your graves and lead you to Israel's fertile land. You will know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and bring you up from your graves. I will put my breath in you, and you will live. I will plant you in Israel's fertile ground, and you will know that I am the Lord. I have spoken, and I will do it. living God, by the death and resurrection of your Son, you have brought us out of sin into righteousness and out of death into life. Breathe into us your life-giving Spirit, that receiving the gifts of word and sacrament, we may live in the hope of all your blessings to come, through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. <laughs>